Dante gazed at the scholarship poster hanging in his school corridor. It shimmered like a beacon, promising a future filled with opportunities. He poured his heart into his studies, often sacrificing social life for grades. Tunde believed that this scholarship was his ticket to a brighter future, one where he could escape the struggles of his working class background. Little did he know his life was about to intertwine with someone else's in a way he never expected. As he sat in the library, Tunde noticed a girl at a nearby table, her expensive clothes contrasting sharply with his worn-out sneakers. Ifeoma, a wealthy student, was flipping through her phone, her eyes filled with a mix of boredom and anxiety. Tunde felt an unexplainable pull toward her. Perhaps they shared a silent understanding of loneliness, masked by their vastly different worlds. Tunde summoned the courage to approach Ifeoma. As he introduced himself, he was struck by her striking features and the sadness behind her warm smile. They began to chat, Tunde sharing his aspirations, while Ifeoma spoke of her luxurious life one that felt suffocating rather than fulfilling. He listened as she revealed her struggles with parental expectations and the isolation that accompanied wealth. With each conversation, Tunde felt drawn to Ifeoma's vulnerability. Their connection deepened, revealing layers of insecurity beneath her polished facade. While Tunde felt motivated to win the scholarship, he also realized that success meant something different to Ifeoma. The two began to find solace in each other's company, forging a bond that blurred the lines between their realities. As their friendship blossomed, Tunde faced mounting pressure from his peers and family. They all expected him to secure the scholarship, a hope that rested heavily on his shoulders. Meanwhile, Ifeoma's world was equally burdened. Her father's constant reminders about maintaining their family status cast a shadow over her happiness. In a moment of vulnerability, Ifeoma confided in Tunde about her father's unyielding ambition for her to attend a prestigious university. Tunde empathized but felt torn as he needed to focus on his studies. While he offered her support, a nagging voice reminded him of the sacrifices he needed to make for his scholarship. Their growing friendship became a delicate balancing act as both struggled to manage their respective pressures. One evening, Tundi invited Ifeoma to join a study group at his home. As they settled into the study session, he noticed the vibrant posters on his walls, reminders of his dreams. Ifeoma's laughter filled the room, a sound so rare in a life of privilege. But beneath the surface, tension brewed. Tunde's mind wandered to the scholarship, the weight of his ambition clashing with his desire to be there for Ifeoma. As they studied late into the night, Tunde realized Ifeoma was genuinely interested in his dreams, not just her own. They shared stories and laughter but as the clock ticked on, Tunde felt the pressure mounting. The more he invested in her, the more he feared losing sight of his goals. As days passed, Tunde and Ifeoma grew closer, but the tension remained. Ifeoma confided in Tunde about the secrets lurking within her family. Her father's controlling nature is source of stress. Tunde, now emotionally invested, felt compelled to help her find freedom from her gilded cage, but at what cost to his own dreams? One day, while studying together, Ifeoma suddenly froze, her phone buzzing ominously. A text from her father made her tense up. Tunde watched as she struggled with fear and obligation, his heart racing as he sensed that something deeper lay beneath her perfect exterior. This was no longer just about friendship. The stakes were rising and the hidden shadows of Ifeoma's life began to cast doubt over their future together. 
Tunde's focus on the scholarship began to waver as he increasingly devoted time to helping Ifeoma navigate her family troubles. The once clear vision of his future was muddled by her emotional turmoil and he wrestled with feelings of guilt for neglecting his own aspirations. Ifeoma's dependency on him grew, but he felt a newfound sense of purpose in being her anchor. However, as Tunde started missing study sessions and falling behind in his grades, a sense of dread crept in. The day of the scholarship announcement drew nearer, and Tunde felt the looming deadline like a heavy cloud. He began to wonder if he could truly support Ifeoma without sacrificing his dreams, leading to sleepless nights filled with uncertainty and anxiety. The pressure culminated during a pivotal moment in their friendship. Ifeoma's father discovered their connection and forbade her from seeing Tunde again. Hurt and confused, Ifeoma felt like her entire world had collapsed. Tunde, in turn, was consumed by fear, fear of losing the one person who had shown him that success was more than just academic achievements. In the aftermath, Tunde felt an unexpected darkness encroaching on his ambition. The once bright dream of winning the scholarship became shadowed by the thought of a life without Ifeoma. Each day felt like a battle between loyalty and ambition. With Tunde caught in the crossfire, they were forced to navigate the painful reality of their separation, questioning whether their bond was strong enough to withstand the growing distance, desperate to reclaim their friendship. Tunde sought Ifeoma out, determined to prove that he would always be there for her. He discovered her sitting alone in a corner of the park, her head buried in her hands. Approaching cautiously, Tunde reached out, but Ifeoma's eyes were filled with sorrow and anger. The weight of their circumstances pressed down on them both. The conversation was tense, marked by uncertainty and heartache. Tunde expressed his willingness to fight for their friendship, but Ifeoma struggled with her father's authority and her own feelings of inadequacy. The atmosphere thickened with uncertainty, and the rift between them widened. Tunde was faced with a heart-wrenching decision. Should he pursue the truth at the risk of losing Ifeoma? As Tunde and Ifeoma worked to mend their friendship, they stumbled upon hidden truths. Tunde learned that Ifeoma had secretly been working on a project to support underprivileged students in their community motivated by her own loneliness and need for connection. Meanwhile, Tunde's resolve to win the scholarship only intensified as he sought to prove that he was capable of overcoming his circumstances. However, as Tunde delved deeper into his studies, he uncovered something unsettling about the scholarship program itself. Whispers of favoritism and corruption surfaced and he started to question whether his hard work would truly pay off. The once clear-cut path to success began to blur, leaving him to wonder if he was merely a pawn in a larger game. As he shared these revelations with Ifeoma, they both realized that the pursuit of their dreams was more complicated than they had imagined. The tension escalated when Tunde received an anonymous message hinting that the scholarship was rigged. His heart raced as he pieced together the implications. His hard work might lead to a dead end. Ifeoma's family connections suddenly took on a darker significance. Tunde began to suspect that Ifeoma's father might be involved in manipulating the selection process, potentially jeopardizing his dreams. In a confrontation fueled by frustration, Tunde asked Ifeoma about her father's influence on the scholarship. Ifeoma hesitated, caught between loyalty to her family and the truth that was threatening to unravel everything. The atmosphere thickened 
with uncertainty and the rift between them widened. Tunde was faced with a heart-wrenching decision. Should he pursue the truth at the risk of losing Ifeoma? The stakes rose when Tunde uncovered a secret meeting scheduled to discuss the scholarship's future. He confided in Ifeoma, urging her to attend the meeting with him. However, she was torn, feeling the pressure of her family's expectations weighing heavily on her. The tension simmered as Tunde pressed her to join him, fearing that without her insights, he might not fully understand the gravity of the situation. As the day of the meeting arrived, Ifeoma's internal conflict reached a breaking point, torn between loyalty to her father and the need to support Tunde. She felt trapped. Tunde, sensing her hesitance, became increasingly frustrated. The shadows of doubt loomed large, pushing their friendship to the brink. The two faced a crossroads that would determine the future of their relationship and their individual paths. At the meeting, the atmosphere was charged with tension. Tunde spoke up, addressing the rumors of corruption and favoritism, his voice steady yet filled with emotion. Ifeoma watched from the sidelines, her heart racing as she realized the impact of Tunde's words. Suddenly, her father burst into the room and the confrontation took a dramatic turn Tunde stood his ground, but Ifeoma's father revealed a shocking twist. Tunde's scholarship had already been secured for him based on merit, but it was a secret known only to a select few. The truth rattled Tunde. His dreams were never in jeopardy, but the revelation brought new questions about Ifeoma's family and their motivations. As the pieces fell into place, Tunde realized that true success was never about the scholarship itself, but about the relationships formed along the way. In the aftermath of the meeting, Tunde and Ifeoma stood together, their bonds stronger than ever. They navigated the revelations and emerged with a clearer understanding of what success truly meant. Tunde had not only secured the scholarship, but also found a deeper purpose in using his education to uplift others, inspired by Ifeoma's charitable work. The twist of fate allowed them to redefine success together, prioritizing love and mutual support over competition and ambition. They promised to continue pursuing their dreams while uplifting each other, united in their resolve to create a brighter future. As they walked away hand in hand, Tunde felt a sense of peace, knowing that true success was about the journey they took together, not just the accolades they achieved, 